right, let's do a construction of a perpendicular bisector. So a perpendicular bisector has to be, it has to bisect a segment. So let's start with our segment. And now we're looking for the line that bisects. It means cuts it in half and is perpendicular. Now this construction is based off of uh, what we call, what I call the midpoint construction. And so what we do is we extend our compass beyond halfway and make an arc above and below our line. Leaving the compass length the same, we're going to move over to A, make a mark below and above. This creates two intersection points that if we take our straight edge and connect those two, we get exactly what we wanted, which is a perpendicular line that bisects. Now, you can believe me or not believe me, but I think you need a little reasoning behind the scenes here. Why did this work? Why did this cut it in half and is it perpendicular? We left our compass uh, the same to create an arc above and below. That means you have two equal radii. We then went to the, to the opposite side, B, and we created an arc that is exactly the same length. So two more equal radii. And what that actually forms behind the scenes is a rhombus. And a rhombus has the property that the diagonals are perpendicular and they bisect each other. So by creating a rhombus, we actually perform that construction. Kind of a cool thing hiding in behind the scenes there.